Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. Today I'm going to show you guys how to download and install QuickTime Player on your Windows device. So typically nowadays the only reason you would need to have QuickTime is if another application requires it. So in this brief tutorial I'll be showing you guys how to download the software. So it's going to be pretty straightforward and we're going to jump right into it. So the first thing we're going to do is open up a web browser. I'm going to open up Google Chrome. You can open up any web browser you choose, doesn't really matter. And I'm going to navigate over to Google and I'm going to type in QuickTime and just hit enter. One of the best matches that comes up should say download QuickTime for Windows. You want to select that and you want to make sure the domain is support.apple.com. You want to make sure you're getting it directly from Apple. There should be a download button near the top of the page. You want to left click on it once to begin the download. It's about 40 megabytes, so it's a little bit big, but if you have decent internet, it shouldn't take too long to download. Okay, and once it's finished downloading, it's going to click on it once to open it up, and I'm going to minimize out of my web browser. It's going to say, Welcome to the QuickTime Installer. Select Next. Once you've looked through the End User License Agreement, you want to select Yes. Select Typical Installation. You can keep these both checked if you want to. If you select the second one, it might install a couple additional Apple software, like Software Updater. You can keep them checked if you choose to do so. It doesn't really matter necessarily. And then I'm going to select install. And this will take a couple minutes. And if you receive a user account control window or two along the way, you want to select yes to both of them. Again, you want to select yes if you receive any further user account control windows. And then I'm going to click on finish. And I recommend restarting your computer and you should be good to go. So I hope this brief tutorial was able to help you guys out. And as always, thank you for watching and I will catch you in the next tutorial. Goodbye.